How long does it take to run a mile while pushing a truck? What we've got here is a 2004 Nissan Frontier. It weighs about 4,300 pounds. We'll be pushing it 5,280 feet, AKA a mile. Why are we doing this? Because I promised TikTok when I hit 125,000 followers, I would do my hardest mile yet, which is pushing this truck. I found the emptiest road I could. There's still a couple of turns and I want to make sure the truck doesn't go off the road. We'll be popping it in neutral. Caitlin will be here steering it, making sure we don't go off track. A couple of other miles I've done have been in cuffs, the elevation mask, 65 pounds on my back as a barbell. Hardest one was the flipper mile with some scuba flippers on. That was a toughie. This one is going to be the new hardest today. So I know this is going to be miserable. So to prep for it, I put as much air as I could safely allow into the tires to help it roll a little bit. The hardest part is getting it moving. Once I'm going, if I slow down, that's all right. The goal is to keep the feet moving the whole time. See if that's even possible. I have done this a little bit as a workout in the past, but nothing too crazy. It was me and a friend switching off every 30 seconds for like a quarter mile. Today, I don't get anyone to switch with, and we're quadrupling that distance, so it's well, gonna be tough. The ladybug just landed on me, so I guess that's good luck. So to hit as many muscles as possible, because my quads are gonna be killing me. Starting off with a push, forward on that one, and then the backup. When those get really tired, I'll be going backwards. Three, two, one, go. I had a feeling this would be the hardest part and that was definitely true. The wheels wanted to stick to the ground, so I really had to lean forward and push with all my might to get it turning. Yeah, I had a little bit of speed built up, but I had a feeling this would be a long road ahead with a lot more steps to take. One tenth done. So far, not easy. First three steps, got the truck going, felt good. And now every step's hard. 0.9 to go. I mapped out the course beforehand, so I knew there was two huge turns I'd have to take on. Luckily, my energy was pretty high because I just started this push, but that extra resistance definitely paid its hold on my legs pretty quick. Quarter mile in, the turn wasn't easy. Makes it a lot harder when the tires are turned. And I think I just had it downhill, because now I'm going uphill. 0.3 in, it got way harder going uphill. Give my shoulders a quick little break. Pushing it backwards, and then I'll flip it a second. <sighs> Gotta keep it moving. Uh. It wasn't just my legs that were starting to wear down, but also my arms and shoulders. I tried out locked out arms, stiff arm, bent arm to try to give the different muscles a break. The hat came off, too much sweat in the eyes. And now we're at point four. That was a hard point one. I felt like Michael Scott when I saw this sign showing my speed. It said eight, but I was doing closer to two miles per hour. Thank you. Half mile. That was hard. Pretty sure I'm going uphill right now. I got a turn coming up. Turn time, 14 minutes. See if I can break 30, maybe. One surprising thing about doing all these random miles is it makes my regular runs feel so much easier now. Put on my shoes, go for a run, and I tell myself, well, at least I'm not pushing a truck. Up until this point, I hadn't stopped at all because I remembered how hard it was to get going in the beginning. Remember that first turn where I said it wasn't so bad because my legs were pretty fresh? That was not the case here. All those steps, over half mile through, and I was pretty tired. This turn, I don't know why, it felt so much harder than the other ones. For a second, I thought the driver might have been hitting the brakes just to mess with me, but she said she wasn't. It was lean forward, keep driving those legs, and try to make it past this turn so I could keep going. Okay. Somehow we're still going uphill. 0.6 in. I can't wait to be done. I knew this would be a strength challenge for my legs, but I didn't realize how much of a cardio challenge it would be too. I was drenched in sweat and breathing like I just ran a marathon. Yeah, we just gotta get back home to Wesley Chapel. Oh wait, it's gonna be rough. Oh yeah. Feel fast? Uh, Three quarters in. This thing's getting super slippery, but it flips up. I didn't know why I didn't do that earlier. That's uh, a little bit easier, but it's still hard. 0.82. I'm trying to zone out a little bit to let the miles pass. I used to look through the window to see what was coming up, but that was too distracting. Too miserable. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, puppy. You're all right. Oh, no, puppy. 
I know, what are you doing? By this point, my hands were so sweaty, I had to wipe them every couple seconds on my shorts, but those were getting equally wet too. 0.92 in, 0 0.08 to go. The good thing and the bad thing is like every 0.01 is 1%. So it kind of feels like a lot, but it also doesn't. I'll push for like a minute and it moves like 0 0.01. <sighs> Nine, four. I was closing in on the finish line, but it still felt so far away with the amount of pain my legs were in. Every 0.01 felt like a chore. Still 9.5. 9.6, 9.7, 9.8. .9 I passed by this uh, interesting looking house. I couldn't tell if they're having a yard sale or just an outdoor collection of dolls. Definitely made me want to go faster though. 9.9, nine. oh, oh. So there it is, one mile. Let's get out of the road and do a little debriefing. This is the part where I'm realizing I forgot to get a towel to sit on. So I was about to drench my seat with sweat. Final time, 3118. So that wasn't fun at all. It felt like I just did like 300 reps of squats with like 135 on my back. Downhill, I get like these occasional little bursts that, that helped out some. The second you're going uphill, it makes it three times as hard. Funny thing is there's some people who stopped to help. Thank you to all the nice people out there. But they couldn't see me. When they were driving towards me, I'd be like, down here. I think all he saw was a car going like two miles an hour down the road. Thank you for stopping and being a good Samaritan. This mile was for 125k on TikTok. I'm gonna need some ideas for 200k. Comment what I should do down low. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and YouTube, Instagram as well, at Nick Flintness. We got some fun miles coming up.